Welcome! In front of me I have Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the Galaxy Wearable application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the Galaxy Wearable application on the phone that is paired with our watch. And once you open the application, you should see your Galaxy Watch Ultra in the app. Now, scroll down and find the option called the watch settings. It's gonna be right here. And once you find it, tap on it. Here, find the option called notifications and tap on it. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed for the notifications to work, uh, you will see pop-ups about the permissions. For example, this one. If you see this one, tap on allow. It will redirect you to the device and app notifications or a special access, uh, not special access, my bad, uh, notification access. One of those, depending on the version of Android you're using. And once it redirects you, find the a Galaxy, where a Galaxy Watch 7 Manager on the list, tap on it, and then tap on the switch next to allow notification access, and then tap on allow. And once you allow the notification access, you can tap on the back button, and you'll be in the notifications menu in the Galaxy Wearable application. And here we can tap on app notifications, and you will see the list of applications. And basically what we can do here is to enable the notifications for specific application. Applications to and that's uh, and how it works is basically if you enable the notifications let's say uh, for discord and you receive the notification from discord on your phone that notification will be forwarded uh, to your watch but if you disable it it won't be forwarded to your watch so you will you will see it only on your uh, phone okay let's enable the notifications for the apps you want uh, for example calendar gallery let's say messages and stuff like that then go back and uh, besides the app notifications, we have also a couple more options. We have show phone notifications notifications on watch, and we have show alerts when phone not in use, and show alerts when phone uh, in use. Basically, if you select the not in use option, and your watch, uh, or rather you're using your phone, so the screen on your phone is enabled, turned on, you won't be, rec you won't be receiving notifications on your uh, watch. Uh, so let's say I'm using my phone, I get the notification from Discord, I won't be seeing it on my uh, watch because this option is enabled. If you want to receive the notifications on the watch uh, anyway, if, even though you're using your phone, you will need to select this option, show alerts when, even when phone is in use. So basically now when I receive the notifications on Discord, even though I'm using my phone, I will see them also on my watch. Next we have the mute notifications on phone. If you enable this option, uh, you will receive the notifications on your watch, but they will be muted. And they will be muted on the on the phone, so you won't be seeing them on your phone, but you will see you will, you will see them on your watch instead. And next, we have the advanced notification settings, and here we can enable and disable a couple of options like notification indicator on the watch face. So basically, when you receive the notification, you will see the dot right here that indicates that you have the notification. And next, we have the uh, read notification allowed. You can enable it. And basically, it will read the content of the notification that you have read briefly, the app name and the title or this or sender name only, and the whole content of the uh, notification. You can also enable the option to show the detail of the notification. If you disable this option, you will only see the uh, name of the app or the person who sent the notification and the detail of the, uh, the content itself of the notification will be hidden. And then we have turn on screen. If you enable this option, it will basically wake up the screen every time you re receive the notification on your watch. And then you have auto turn on notifications for the new phone apps. And this option was basically what it does. If you turn it on and you install new applications on your phone, uh, it will enable the notifications for that app uh, right here in the app notifications. So let's say I installed uh, smart things. It wasn't here before on this list, but it installed I, it was installed, then it will appear and it will be automatically enabled. You don't need to do it yourself. That's how this option works. And once you're done setting up your notifications, you should be able to use them. So I'm gonna try sending myself a message on Discord. Did I enable the notifications for Discord? Let's check. App notifications. 
let's look for Discord, and it is enabled. Okay, so I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. And we got it on our phone, and also we got it on our watch. You can tell by the dot on the, uh, oh, my bad, on the home screen. If you go to the home screen, you will see this dot uh, disappeared because I opened the notification. But if you miss your notifications, you can swipe right on the screen. It will open the notification panel. Uh, and here we have our notification. You can tap on it to read it. You can also quick reply if you like to. And if you want to clear the notification, I believe you can uh, tap on it. Scroll all the way down and tap on the ben icon to clear it like this. Okay. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android uh, phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.